What's Casper doing? What's Turbo doing? What are other meme coins doing at this very moment? You'll see in a bit. Let's get it. To make it short, Casper looks very good. And this is while Bitcoin is coiling up to get over the $100,000 mark and is therefore sucking most of the capital out of the crypto market. Now, as you can see here, we are in the process of reclaiming the lower part of the curve, the, the big, big curve that is forming since the beginning of the Casper chart. And as you can see here, with Hindsight, we've had kind of a fake out here. So we've went below the curve. Some people were a bit fearful. Why do we get below that curve now? Because this is pretty much the first time in the price history. But this is also, while well, looking at this summer pause, this extremely big accumulation range, you could say, this is very, very clear that this support level here was just retested one more time. So altogether, this was not an issue. And as you can see, it shows everything is good. We are reclaiming the curve again and are charging to get into new all time highs, I guess, pretty, pretty soon when all season hits. And this will be the time when we see those big, big daily candles towards the $1 mark as a first macro target here. So in my last Casper update, we've been pretty much here. And like the day after, we've thrusted through the curve and are now establishing it, as I said, as support. So I guess my timing here was pretty accurate. Now, as I've just said, we are right now in the process of getting to the $100,000 mark for Bitcoin, which is important for the whole crypto market, because as I've also teased, this is sucking most of the liquidity out, the, out of the crypto market and altcoins are pretty much doing not too much. As you can see here from the all time high, the recent all time high just yesterday at the time of recording, we are just 0.36% below the $100,000 mark. The market is teasing us. Everybody is going crazy. What will happen at the $100,000 mark? Many people think there will be a big dip exactly at the $100,000 mark. Some other people say we will thrust through it and don't look back ever again. So, well, that is not too realistic, of course. Uh, in my opinion, I think there will be a lot of people FOMOing in at $100,000. This will be the time when we see retail really getting into crypto again, because at this point, still retail is coming in slowly, but not at a massive pace as it's normal for a fifth wave within a bull cycle. And I think this will happen after $100,000. This will be also the time when people that are waiting for a dip will be possibly not getting to buy any dip because we thrust through to 105,000, 110,000 maybe. And then people are foaming in and this will be the time at some point here where we actually get a dip, a 20% dip even, in my opinion, 20 to 25%. This is the magnitude of dips in the cycle so far. So maybe something like that. This will be actually pretty accurate with my support resistance band here that is generated by my indicator. And during this first pump, the question is, will alts pump with it? Probably a little, but most of the action will happen when Bitcoin takes a dip and a breather. Because during this time, because during this time, I think altcoins will start to go crazy. And this is when alt season hits, of course. Also, when looking at the Bitcoin dominance, you can see this is a possible top. So, of course, we don't know. It might be possible that we go even higher here um, because we are just now in a important part here. This is an important support and resistance zone. So if this is actually resistance and we start to go down from here, this would mark the beginning of the old season from this perspective. Uh, of course, as I've just said, we can definitely go a little higher here. 
while Bitcoin has another pump, for example, and then start to go down. But nevertheless, it's just a couple of weeks away at best. So however you want to put it, good times are ahead for Casper, good times are ahead for meme coins, altcoins, and what not. So now that we have a little bit of a macro picture of the whole market, Bitcoin, Casper, of course, already. Now let's have a look at Turbo. Also did a video update about it some days ago. And in that video, I said, at this point we were exactly here. I told you there's a breakout to happen in the immediate short term because we're coiling up between this important moving average and this resistance. And I told you, if we get a daily close below this moving average, the blue one, then the likelihood increases that we will go down first and go down a little more. And if we manage to close the daily candle above this resistance zone, then the likelihood increases significantly for a sustained rally to the upside and your all-time highs, of course. As you can see, one day after that, we've got that breakdown, the daily close below the blue moving average. We are consolidating below it. So at this point in time, this is not a fake out. If this next day, this green candle would have closed above the blue moving average again, this would be a fake out. No, as you can see, we went down. We are right now getting a little green candle here. So this can change, of course, in the remainder of the day. I also told you normal price target for us breaking down here is actually the gold moving average, which comes into place here with these two support zones. So this actually might be a possibility. Still, we can go down still. And this is also because a pattern that repeats here multiple, multiple times for turbo. And this is that when we break down from the blue moving average, nearly every time, most of the times, we get to the golden blooming average. So it was like that here, was like that here, went down, also here as you can see, also here as you can see, although this was pretty much a rejection, so basically a fake out to the upside. Um, this is the only occurrence where it didn't happen. So we've got, we've, we went below, but not really completely all the way down. So of course it might be possible that we don't go all the way down here to the golden moving average, but start to go up from mid of this way. However you want to put it, if we go down to this point, if we go down to this point, these are great buying opportunities. Because as I've told you, all season is ahead of us. It's not too far away. It's pretty likely that it'll happen in a pretty short amount of time. And these prices are great if you still want to accumulate some turbo. Because turbo is one of these big meme coins 2.0, culture coins, community meme coins, however you want to call them. And these are the greatest narrative this cycle. These are pretty much the NFTs this cycle. And projects that are part of the biggest narrative or of any narrative, quite frankly, are of course subject to the biggest or one of the biggest pumps and the biggest upside. Therefore, getting in at these prices before a break of all-time highs and a subjected crazy rally is of course a blessing. And that of course is not financial advice. Let's just have a look at another project, one of these big culture coins, and that is Doc with Hat. So this one really has a crazy accumulation range here, similar to Casper actually, and multiple more coins. And as you can see, similar to Turbo, we are going down here a little after we approach the all-time highs. Didn't make a new all-time high, went just below it actually. And this is also a time for accumulating some more if you're not completely exposed. But I have to say, you can see this, there is a signal printed here and we are rejected at this moment. So if we don't manage to close a candle above it, we might see further downside. And we have here, as you can see, the blue moving average together with a 0.618 coming in here. So this is the first target for sure. This is not too much of a move. This is from current prices like 16%. Sounds much, but for with this is a small move, actually. 
And if this shouldn't hold, there is actually the next level here, uh, the golden moving average together with this important resistance signal. So this will come in here. So this cluster is basically where we should look at if we continue to move down. And these prices as well are great buying prices in my personal opinion. Before we coil up and pump through a new all-time high and start the real action. And WIF is actually a great example how big of a pump is awaiting us. If a chart looks like this, so exactly like this, we had a crazy rally to the upside and then we are moving sideways for months and months on end and we start to make a new all-time high and thrust through it. You can expect not just like this, this a little pump and we go back into the range. This is very unlikely. We can expect a sustained uptrend. And actually we can normally measure this. This is some kind of harmony we're having in the markets. So if this is the lead up pump into such a prolonged sideways phase, then we can expect a movement about this size. About, not exactly, of course. As you can see, this is also the level here, the 2.618, this comes in here. So this is pretty much a, an important target. So of course, the 1.618 and the 2.618, two important targets as soon as we get new all-time highs. And another project we will look at in this video is PopCat. Also, by the way, um, I'm thinking about doing these videos regularly where I talk about Casper, where I talk about meme coins, different ones. And if you want to have a specific meme coin covered, then let me know down in the comment section, because then I might cover them in the next episode. Now, this is PopCat. PopCat is one of those price charts that one of... So PopCat is one of those meme coins where the price chart looks so crazy because it's up only. Or actually, let me get another chart here of PopCat because the price history is not complete maybe maybe this one let's see yeah this looks looks this looked way better um so as you can see we had a leader pump as well pretty big one and since then we only have higher lows constantly we're even constantly since like mid of september constantly above the blue moving average on the daily chart so this looks so so powerful and also one of those big culture coins as you can see, we are right now once again testing the blue moving average. Hopefully we can hold it once again, would be great. Otherwise, there might be a little more downside. This is nothing worrisome. As you can see, we went below it at the beginning here. Just got some wicks to the downside, some candle closes and then resumed above it. So this really depends on how much capital Bitcoin will suck out in the coming weeks still and when the actual old season will happen. But nevertheless, looking great. One of those coins that will likely have great upside potential still. As you can see here, first stock will be the 1.618, not too far away, and then the 2.618 coming in here. What should I tell you? It looks great, similar to many other projects. This is really the time to, to look closely at a lot of great projects, a lot of great charts, because... Uh, this point in time where the old season is very near but not really there yet and charts started to pump but didn't really pump yet this is this is the time to 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 really monitor to look closely to not miss out and therefore i'm making these videos because i don't want you to miss out and therefore you should subscribe right now if you didn't already because it would be a great mistake of course what you definitely should do as well is join my Telegram community, which is free. And the link is down below because as a member of the Telegram community, you will be able to discuss with many great people actually. And of course, get access to my Phil Prince community WAP, which is also free. This will get you a whole free trading course and a trading indicator. This is such a great offer. I actually don't know why I am doing it. And as you can see, there are already 213 people in that community. Uh, this won't be free forever. So I will change up this whole offer in 
the coming one or two weeks. So really be quick while this is still free. So just as a heads up, once again, get into the Telegram and you'll get the link for this as well. And with that said, until next time, goodbye.